One of the joys of woodworking is being able to harvest your own stock. Often when I'm out cutting firewood with my chainsaw, I'll run into some really figured stock that'll work down the road for small projects or for wood turnings. Here I have some spalted maple, some quilted maple, and just a limb that I thought might work nice for future woodworking projects. The problem with harvesting your own stock is often you, don't ha you can't start with a big block like this. You might find a limb with a lot of figure where you're starting with round stock and you won't have a flat surface. To take stock like this and turn it into usable stock, what we have is a bandsaw resaw jig. The two basic components of our bandsaw jig are the sub base with a miter gauge slot runner and the fence assembly. The fence assembly is notched, allowing it to ride back and forth on the sub base. The miter gauge slot runner runs in your miter gauge slot, allowing you to move the jig back and forth through the blade. One of the first uses we're going to put this jig to use today is cutting a piece of round stock into even slices. It's important to secure the workpiece to the fence. To do that, we have three slots in the back where we put our screws through to secure it to the fence like that. It's also important that the workpiece sits firmly on top of the sub-base. Now let's take this to the bandsaw and make some usable stock. I'm going to cut this limb stock into slabs. To do that, I've slid the fence assembly over and locked it in place. Now let's make the first cut. For half inch finished stock, I've marked 5 8 inch increment on the tape. Now I will move the fence over every time I make a cut. The 5 8 inch allows me to take down uh, the 5 8 inch stock to half inch when machining and sanding later. After each cut, it's important to check that your workpiece is still firmly on your base. We look here and we found out that in cutting over, we're slowly lifting off the base. At this point, I would loosen the screws on the back side of the fence, lower the stock down onto the base, and continue making my slabbing cuts. At this point, I'd probably have to lower the stock after each bandsaw cut. For large diameter stock, such as a large limb or a section of the trunk, I would split it in the field with the chainsaw. Now, to get into further usable stock, I mount it to the subbase, driving screws through the bottom of the subbase into the outside half of this piece. When mounting this section to the subbase, I want to be careful to get over half of the piece on this for stability. If I get too much on the outside edge of the blade, it's going to have a tendency to pull over with the blade. Now, I've taken a very large piece of stock and bandsawed it down into two smaller, easier to work pieces. This is a block of spalted maple I've harvested about 10 years ago. It is dry enough to use for projects. In order to do that, I'm going to use a jig to cut it into evenly sliced boards by just moving the fence over in even increments. Here's a couple of boards I just resawed using the jig from the larger block. We have very consistent thickness to both boards and as an added benefit we can joint these two edges and get a book match panel. <laughs> 